Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to add Bluetooth connectivity to old speakers, so that you can play music on them straight from your phone. Here I have an old JBL speaker dock for iPhones and iPods. These were quite popular about 10 years ago, but today they are practically obsolete, and you can buy them for super cheap. This particular model was priced at $150 in 2007, but I got it last year for only about $10. At that time I had the intention to use it for parts, but since the speaker works well, I decided to try converting it into a wireless speaker instead. And that should be super easy, because there's already an auxiliary input jack at the back. I will show you three different ways to add Bluetooth to the speaker, starting with the easiest. For about $20, you can get one of these Logitech Bluetooth receivers from Amazon. On the back, you will see two different output connectors. On the left is a 3.5mm jack for things like computer speakers, and in the middle is a pair of RCA connectors. I can use an ordinary audio cable with 3.5mm jacks on both ends to connect the receiver to my speaker. If you are connecting this Bluetooth receiver to something like a big amplifier, you may need to use the provided cable. Find an available RCA input on the back of your amp, and that's where you plug in the Bluetooth receiver. You activate pairing mode by long pressing the button on top of the receiver. Then you'll find the receiver in the Bluetooth menu of your phone. Connect to it and you're good to go. By the way, I also have this receiver, but I cannot recommend it. For some reason, it has a really hard time maintaining a strong connection. If all that sounds too expensive, you can get a cheaper Bluetooth receiver from China. I would recommend this one. I've been using it for some time and it's been working well. You do not get a power adapter with this receiver, but since it has a micro USB connector, it can be powered from an old cell phone charger. There is a 3.5mm audio jack that you can use to connect this receiver to your speakers. As soon as it is connected to power, the receiver enters pairing mode, so you can connect it to your cell phone. But let's say that you don't want to use two separate power adapters for the speaker and the receiver. Here is the DIY approach to solving this problem. The power adapter for the speaker delivers 12 volts, but the receiver works on no more than 5 volts. So I used a voltage regulator in parallel to get the 5 volts that I needed. A voltage regulator usually looks like this and has 3 pins. These 5 volts go into an isolating DC to DC converter. Such a converter is necessary to prevent a ground loop from forming. The converter looks like this and has 4 pins. The 5 volts from the converter power the Bluetooth receiver. While testing the circuit on a breadboard, I noticed that the output voltage was higher than the 5 volts I expected. To be on the safe side, I connected a 10K resistor across the output. This put a load on the converter and brought the voltage down. This is what the complete circuit looks like. The two circuit boards are connected together using small standoffs. Now let's hook up the receiver to the speaker. First I connected the Bluetooth receiver with a short audio cable. Then I plugged the power jack into the speaker. And finally I connected the power adapter to the power input. The receiver lights up and there is no smoke, meaning that the project is a success. By the way, a receiver wired like this can be put on the inside of the speaker, but I decided not to do that. This particular speaker is going to be difficult to take apart and even harder to put back together without damaging it. Alright, this is how you add Bluetooth to an old speaker system. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments and subscribe to my channel to never miss any of my future videos.